Hello and welcome. This is the second installment of our series of videos explaining the use of ABES geometry control software. In this video, I would like to show the input of axis or as they're sometimes called bridge alignments or setting outlines. We have our object tree here on our left and if I right click on the folder for axis, I can choose insert axis and as we initialize this new axis object, I can give it a name. I call it corner axis for reasons that will become apparent very soon. Once I confirm the name, we arrive at the input screen that will guide us through the definitions necessary for our axis. But before we start providing this data, I would like to step back just a little bit and give a few basic explanations. There are several ways of defining axis geometries within ABS Geodes, but in the following we will talk about the recommended way of doing this job. We will be using rounded polygons. In the case of the plan view definition of our axis, we will use polygons like it's shown here on the screen with roundings consisting of arcs as shown here between the two cross symbols and spirals leading into and out of this arc as shown here between the dots and the cross and the dot cross and the dot respectively. This sketch shows the axis we will be using for our getting started example. The sketch by the way is taken from the getting started manual which has a lot more detail in it and talks about the very same example. We will define three points one two three and a rounding here in the middle again using a transition spiral into an arc and back with a spiral into the straight here. So here we are back in Geodes and uh, we will now input our three point polygon and the associated rounding just like we saw in the sketch. For this purpose we will need to produce a table with input values. The table is empty as we see here. So to in order to add lines to this table we right click here and insert three lines or rows. This gives us space to input three polygon points. We give them names P1, P2 and P3 and coordinates and we will keep it simple here. We will start in the origin then go 100 meters to the east and 100 meters to the north and we still need to define the rounding in this line here at point 2 P2. I will select a rounding radius in the arc of 50 meters and I would like to define the spiral by its length. So I want a 20 meter long spiral leading into the arc and a 20 meter spiral leading out of the arc. Once I finish the input I can store it by clicking accept. The green values over here they show the interpretation of this line. Sometimes that's important but we will get to this later. We all realize this is not a very realistic example but it serves the purpose of illustrating the functionality of the software and explaining some concepts so let's just go with these numbers and let's move on to the input of the elevation information for our axis. Again we need to fill out a uh, uh, table and again we will be using rounded polygons except for the elevation we will not use spiral curves and arcs we will use simple parabolic roundings. So let's um, again insert three rows for this table here 
and let's define three points for the elevation definition of our axis. We are called the points E1, E top, and E2. And I asked the program to start at station zero. Station is measured along the length of our alignment, which we now know in plan view. And we start with an elevation of zero or height of zero. At station 200, I wish to have a gradient up to five, a five meter top and back to zero at station 400. And for the rounding at the top, I would like to use a parabola with a, a minimum radius of 1500 meters. Again, I press accept to store the data. The green color of this uh, of this cell here cells here tells me that all the values have been calculated and interpreted correctly and the data is stored. There is only one little task left for us to do in our example here and we will perform this task under the tab axis points. Again this is a table which is empty as of now and I am inserting only one row this time. In this table we will define points or one point in this case along the axis that will be used to fix our segments to. In many cases that will be abutment points or peer locations. In our case we call it we call the point pier and we want the pier to be located at station 100. Again, we press accept and this concludes our axis input for this particular getting started example. Now, if we want to see this axis, we can do so by right clicking onto the uh, axis object here in our object tree, choosing diagram and for example select prepare plan view diagram. And this plan view diagram corresponds nicely to the diagram we saw before from the getting started manual. And if we wanted to see our uh, uh, elevation we can again click on right click on the object on the axis object and select elevation diagram except in this case this is rather flat and if we want some exaggeration here to see a bit better what we actually have we can use our options and change the radius, the ratio to let's say 0.1, fit the view and this is a much better impression of our elevation of the axis. The three points, the rounding, the parabolic rounding with a radius of 1500 here and the pier location here at station 100. This was a very very quick uh, input sequence for a very simple uh, axis. Of course we have uh, kept it simple and we've ignored a lot of detail along the way. Uh, in this context I recommend the getting started manual which has more detail in it um, and probably provides uh, a more in-depth uh, basis for uh, preparation for more practical applications. I'm concluding here and I hope to see you again in the next video of this series where we will talk about cross-section input.